Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Tawana, Tawana Lynn, and I want to thank you for clicking on this video. Today we'll be filming a look or going over a look, a tutorial of a fall makeup look using drugstore products. Um, this beautiful beat that I got today. I know you like it. It is all drugstore. So I hope you stay tuned and watch this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you will know every time a new video goes up. So with all further ado, let's get into this look. Okay, starting with a freshly washed moisturized face. We are going to do our brows. Um, so we're going to start off with this LA Colors Eyeliner and Brow Pencil. And it's in the color Black Brown. So this is like a dollar, I think. I think it's like a dollar. Um, so this is what we're going to use to do our brows. Okay, I'm going to clean my brows with this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is the concealer I'm going to use to highlight. So I'm going to use this to clean up my brows as well. have done our brows they're kind of thickish that's okay I need my brows done but um I'm gonna be getting them done so don't worry about it um but this is a good good for people who brows need to be done but you don't have time to get them done but you can kind of clean them up to where they kind of look done so um I always do that with my brows okay so I'm going to move on to my eyes and I am using the Morphe James Charles yeah the James Charles mini palette it is so pretty I got it from Ulta of course look at those colors and the brush that I'm going to be using is the B H Cosmetics Midnight Festival brush set. So that's what I'll be using to do my face today. Um, I did want to do what I said, which is use drugstore 
um, products. That's the look for today is drugstore. So I wanted to even include drugstore brushes. So I'm starting off with brush number seven um, for the eyes. And oh, this is kind of cute. So I am going to go for a I want to do a smoky brown eye today. So I'm going to start off with 10% and I'm going to lead a little, try to keep this little thing on so y'all can see. This, this is 10%. It has a little plastic case on it, but this is what I'm going to go in with first. Okay, so 10% is giving me more reddish vibes than I want. So I'm going to go in with the one that's on side of it, which is No Beans, which is this one. So I'm going to go in with that one next, with the same brush. Alright, this is kind of what I want. As you see, it's kind of like brownish, brickish. That's what I wanted. This palette is very pigmented. Like, it really, really is. And it has a lot of colors. I feel like this is a good palette for you. If you want to just have one palette that you can get fall, spring, every day bright any color you can think of it's in this palette and I and that's really really cool and it's Morphe so Morphe always have great pigmented colors so um, I really really like it it's really really cute okay so now I think I'm going to and this is a simple eye look very 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 simple I am going to go into Benny, which is here, and we're kind of doing smoky, so we're going to do this on the lid and kind of blow it out, up, blow it up too, blend it up, you'll see what I'm talking about, and I'm going to use this same brush, brush number seven, and I'm going to do that, so let's see how that looks. Okay, it's looking kind of purplish brown, but that's okay. So I'm going to go in with this color here, which is T. And I'm going to put T kind of on top of that to kind of like lighten it or give it a little bit more diff different di dimension. Girl, I can't talk today. Yeah, 
Yes, that's what I wanted. It's so cute. It's so cute and so simple. So now I'm going to use, go back into no beans and kind of put that back in my crease to kind of, um, kind of blend it more. On camera, it kind of just looks like my eyes. But I promise you it's not. Okay. It really does look like my eyes. But it's not. <laughs> it looks just like my eye color. Let me try to. Let me see. I'm trying to look. I'm kind of looking in the monitor if you can tell. But um, if you can kind of see, I hope you can see the color. It kind of looks like my eyes though. But that's okay. This is like a wearable brown smoky eye. It's not as smoky. So see, but this is where you start to mess up because you start adding stuff that you really don't need to add. But it's not giving what I wanted to give. So I'm going to add a tad bit of spooky, which is black. So I'm going to add that literally right here. So I added a little bit of black, but I'm going to stop there because that's how you end up doing too much and I don't want to do too much. So we're going to stop there. So now we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so I guess my recording stopped, but I did prime my face with the NYX. Yeah. The NYX, um, what is it? The Veil, the Veil, the Veil Primer, Angel Veil. Okay, so we are going to go in with our foundation and we are using Maybelline. So I have Maybelline, the Super, what is this? Super Stay Full Coverage Concealer. So, remember when we did our regular, our high-end one, when we did the high-end one, we used, I'm sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> take these brushes out of the little plastic so I can see which one I'm going to use. Okay, so when we did the full coverage look, full coverage, the high-end look, we use a full coverage foundation so i wanted to do the same thing and use a full coverage foundation that's why i picked the maybelline so we're going to use that and for concealer i've already showed you we're going to use the elf hydrating camo concealer this concealer is really really good i didn't say that when i was cleaning my brows but it's really really good and it is full coverage but it is really really good so I have my brushes and I don't know which brush I want to use so I want to use this brush for my blush and then this brush for my foundation because they don't really have a blush brush I guess you can say this is a highlighter brush oh you know what let me read it <laughs> that would be smart 
So I have two, one and two. So one and two it says is an angled powder brush. Oh, for blush, like I said. Blush and um, bronzer, contour. And then it says this one is a foundation brush. So I'm gonna use this one as my foundation brush. This is number two. So we're gonna go with our foundation and our concealer. Oh, I forgot to mention that I use color 360 mocha. It's kind of like if you see kind of, I'm sorry, if you see it kind of goes on a little, I would say a little orange, more warm. But once you blend it out, it looks nice. So we're going to take our blush, our sponge, and we're going to blend this out. kind of crazy but don't worry it's okay oh and in this I'm using deep chestnut in the elf concealer so I didn't really have time I didn't realize I didn't have a setting powder in my collection so I'm using this Rimmel stay matte it's a pressed setting powder in the color translucent so I'm going to use this to set under my eye Okay, so this is the setting powder that I used um, for bronzer. Oh, I took it out. 
For bronzer, I'm going to use the same bronzer that I used in the high end because I just love that bronzer. And that's the Makeup Revolution Pro Bronzer um, in dark. So that's what I'm going to use to bronze my face. Okay, I'm going to use the same, I guess, powder brush, the number one brush. I'm going to lightly bronze. Alright, and then for powder, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color dark. So that's what I'm gonna be using to set the rest of my face. And I'm using the same brush, which is the number one brush to set. made it real real cute girl so that's super cute um now i'm gonna do my blush and here i am with this same brush which is brick house i'm going to do my blush with this oh i said with this brick house the same blush this brush <laughs> i'm getting tight on the same brush and I'm using um, what is this a what is this girl I can't even think right now this one I'm gonna think about it it's like a brick red so I'm gonna use this as my blush And then I'm going to spray my face before I do my eyeliner and my lashes. So I'm going to spray my face so that doesn't get wet. And I'm using this. Why can't I think of the name of this brand? BR. BR. I can't think of it. Anyway, I'm using their long lasting setting spray. Black Radiance. Duh, Tawana. Using the Black Radiance. So now, I am going to do my lashes. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner first. And I am using this Black LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. It is at the Dollar Tree for 99 cents. And I'm using black. So that's what I'm using. Some of my eyeliner on this side it's jacked up that's okay you can't tell so I'm gonna put on my lashes which are what says cherry cherry blossom yes cherry blossom lashes I'm gonna put these on now and I'm using this um duo glue which is 
drugstore. You can buy it at CBS. You can buy it at um, CBS, Walgreens, Walmart, any place like that. So I'm gonna put my lashes on. All right. So we have our lashes on. So the last step is our lips. And I am going to use Maybelline again. I should have just labeled this a Maybelline. Oh, no. I need to do my under eye. I need to put on my, I'm using a dark brown, this is an LA Girl Glide eyeliner. So I am doing a dark brown lip with my Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon and I am using the color, oh where is it, so I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon in the color Drive the Future. It is a brown so I figured let's continue our brown chocolate brown thing and do this brown lip Okay, so we put our chocolate lips on. So we got chocolate, chocolate, chocolate on some chocolate skin. Yes. So here we are with the finished look. Um, this is finished look of our drugstore fall makeup look. I hope you like it. I hope you loved it. I hope you like, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up and continue to watch all the rest of my videos. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.